So this video is gonna be super simple. I'm basically gonna describe how you can use Anki in hopefully under five minutes. Now, you probably clicked on this video because you just downloaded Anki and you're not exactly sure how it works and you're super confused on how it works, how to create cards, and the whole structure of how Anki works and the logistics of it because there is a bit of a learning curve to it. And I was in that exact same position about one year ago when I started studying for my MCAT. I downloaded Anki and I had no idea exactly how to use it and I watched so many videos, at least probably like four or five hours worth of videos, figuring out exactly how to use it and how to navigate and how to use it most effectively and the whole thought process of how Anki works. And that's what I wanna show in this video. So for those of you that are new, my name is Mikey and I'm a pre-med student here in Canada. Now the timestamps for everything I'm gonna discuss in this video will be labeled right here. So if you don't know what Anki is, it's basically an app that works with active recall and space repetition and shows you different flashcards on a daily basis. And you essentially have to do it every single day to get the best results possible. Now, before we get started, I wanna quickly ask that you guys smash that like button and also comment down below what current methods you use for studying. This does really help me out with YouTube algorithm and will help me grow this channel. And without any further ado, let's get started. Now, once you download the Anki app, you're basically gonna be open with a window like this. And it might be a bit confusing because you're like, how do I navigate with all this? So the first thing we're gonna discuss is how to create a deck. So it's very simple. At the bottom of the page, you're gonna find a section that says create deck. So let's say I'm gonna create YouTube, okay? So this is the deck I'm gonna create right here. Now, once you create the deck, sometimes you wanna make sub decks. So for example, YouTube, I might wanna make Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, theoretically. So I'll write, I would have to write YouTube, then two semicolons, and I would write Monday. That's just how Anki works. Honestly, I have no idea why they do that, but that's how the app works. And you really have to just get used to them using that type of system. Now that's essentially how you create decks. It's very, very simple. Now let's say I wanna make my own flashcard. Now there are three different types of flashcards you could actually make. The first is a basic flashcard. So let's say I were to press add. So this is essentially a front and back flashcard. This is the regular question. So like, what is the best YouTube channel, right? Well, obviously that's Mikey Atala. Oh, spelt it wrong. Mikey Atala, right? And then I'm gonna press add. And if I were to come back to this main deck and I press resume, we'll study it. What is the best YouTube channel? And you press space bar and it'll bring you Mikey Atal. Wow, I spelled that wrong. That's okay. But you get the point that I'm trying to say and that basic flashcards is very simple. You ask a question and you have an answer. Now, the one I actually prefer over the basic flashcards is the closed deletions. And this is kind of the only flashcard I use. I'd say 98% of the time. So essentially how you get to that certain flashcard is you're gonna to come to the add section, type, you're gonna press on close. And what this does, is kind of like a fill in the blank question. So if I say, Mikey Atala is the best YouTube channel. So the way you're gonna create that deletion, I can't believe I keep not adding the A. The way you're gonna add that fill in the blank is you're basically gonna highlight this and you're gonna cl click on this colon with three dots, close colon. So what this basically does is it makes that flashcards in ways that Anki can actually understand it. So Anki understands quote unquote, like computer code. So this is like the code that helps Anki understand. Now, what I also love a lot about this card is that you can actually create more than one fill in the blank. So I can make a fill in the blank for YouTube channel. I could do the exact same thing where now it'll say C2. So if I were to come back here after I press add, I would come back to the place where I have my cards the first card say, what is the best YouTube channel? That's the one I just did, and we'll answer. We're gonna have something is the best YouTube channel, and I just made that card, Mikey Atala. We're gonna press good. You could also press the number two. If you wanna do good, you could simply press number two. And then Mikey Atala is the best. This is the second card, and we're gonna press good as well. YouTube channel. Now the third card we're gonna talk about is something called image occlusion. And this is essentially a card that is used very widely when it comes to, you know, fill in the blanks, when it comes to diagrams. Now, technically this doesn't come with Anki and you have to download a separate add-on that's called image occlusion enhanced. And I'm gonna actually include it down below in the description so you can download it. So basically once you have that add-on downloaded, you're gonna come up here on your laptop to the tools section. You're gonna press on add-ons then See, I have a lot of add-ons. I disabled them for this video, but basically I'm gonna enable it. And then once you have it enabled, this picture diagram is gonna pop up right here where it says add image. So now what you can do is basically press on this and it'll open your screenshots and you can basically add any image you want. So let's say I were to add, for example, TikTok. This is kind of the only one I have on my desktop. Let's say I were to add TikTok, okay? And I wanna cover the word TikTok itself. So basically what I'm gonna do is press on the square tool and then I'm gonna create a square over it. Now, all I'm gonna do really is, there's two different types. It's hide all guess one and hide one guess one. So hide all guess one is, that would hide all of them and only allow you to guess one of them. 
hide one guess one would mean if you had multiple different ones of these like diagrams where you have to fill in the blanks for them, then it would only hide one of them while showing all of the other ones. So what I'm going to do is hide all guess one, then I'm going to create X, X, and I'm going to come to my cards. And now you can see the first card I have is this and all I have to really do is, oh, this is TikTok, pretty easy. Show answer, done, we are good. Now this is kind of what I use for studying and I found it to be super, super effective. Now I want you guys to actually comment down below what is your study method and what do you use mainly? Do you reread, do you highlight, do you go through your notes multiple times, do you test yourself, do you talk out loud? Comment that down below because I want to hear what you guys exactly do. Now, another thing that's important with Anki is the browse feature. And this is essentially the operations of everything going on. It's kind of like the storage place of all your cards. So here you could find all the cards you've made. So here I have my decks, YouTube, and then I have my four cards that I made, and I could see what type of cards these are. Now, if I press on Monday, since they're already on Monday, I'll find them all over here, and I can find when they're due, I can find out basically anything about them. Now, I can also go to the certain type of card I want. So basic, I have one card, close, I have two, and image occlusion enhanced, I have one. So that's really simple, and it's really useful when you wanna find a particular card. You could also just go up here and search the card. So I could search uh, Mikey Atala. So now you can see the three cards that I made that have my name in them. I could find them all right here and I could delete them. I could, I could do so many things with them and that's essentially why the browser is really, really useful. Now, once you finish creating all your cards and you understand the browse feature, the only other feature I would say to focus on is sync. So what this does, is it allows you to sync it between all your devices. So I personally have Anki on my laptop, my iPad and my phone. And it's really useful because if I'm on the go, I could do quick questions on my phone or if I'm on my iPad, you know, watching Netflix, I could do quick questions here or there and get them done as quickly as possible. So every time you leave the app, you're going to want to make an account. And once you make an account, you're going to be able to sync it between all your devices. Now the Mac version is actually free, which is very useful. And that's how I started for a couple months, but then I realized the most efficient way is to actually have it on your iPad and on your phone because then you could do things on the go. Now the iPad and phone app is actually paid. I think it's around $30 or so Canadian. I don't, I think American, it might be 25 or so, but it's a one-time fee and it's really, really useful. Just like I said, cause you could do it all on the go. And I really like this a lot. So let's say I were to open my Anki settings on my phone. Now, if I were to actually open it on my phone, I could see all the cards that I do and I'll, I'll show you guys exactly how I do this on the go. So I open the Anki app and I simply press on the one that I have due. So what is the best YouTube channel? Like I said, my Kiatala, that reminds me, if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe down below. Also, please smash that like button because I told you it does help me out so much. But anyways, that's basically the end of this video. I hope it was really short and that you guys really understood how to use Anki. I'm going to be making a future video on the top five or six or seven or eight. I haven't really decided yet. Most popular add-ons that I use for Anki basically on a daily basis. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.